Recording a walkthrough. We can record the walkthrough so that we save it as an AVI file type and we can export that out to a flash drive, hard drive, and we can share that with others. To do this, we're going to go up to our application menu, click on the big blue R. We're going to go down to export, and in export, we want to export images and animations. And when I fly out, I want to go and export a walkthrough. I click on the walkthrough, and I get a length and format so I can choose all the frames. In this case we had 300 frames. Or I can check into the frame range and say I want to start on frame 20 and go to frame 200. Uh, so you can adjust those and you can say how many frames per second you want. The standard is 15 so things uh, less than that will be really herky-jerky. Things more than that will be really smoother but it will be a larger file and take a lot long, longer to process. So I recommend 15 and depending on how much of the how much of it you want you can clip in and out. Uh, so I'm gonna go with all frames. Down in the format I can pick which style I want. So I can go realistic or realistic with edges or I can go consistent uh, colors, or I can go just shaded or hidden line. So if you're just trying to do a, a simple one to see for yourself, you can go down into the hidden line or or maybe a shaded, just to, to run it faster. But most clients uh, that you're going to have are going to want to see it realistic, realistic with edges, or perhaps even rendering, which is you know uh, very t uh, processor intensive, uh, but will give you the highest possible quality. Uh, so. I'm go with realistic with edges. Here we have the dimensions in pixels, and you know you can change that. Uh, you know you could double or you know cut when you do it. Cut them both equally. So if you're going to cut it in half or or uh, three quarters or something, uh, you know do it on a percentage basis. And if speaking of that, you can just do the aspect ratio and say, you know what. I want to zoom to 75% of the actual size, so it's going to be a smaller frame size. Uh, you can include the date and timestamp, so we'll have a date and timestamp marked on it, which is kind of tacky uh, in some regards, uh, but you can just check that on or off if you like. And then once you say OK, it's going to ask you where do you want to save the file. So you put it in what folder you want, you know, what drive letter, and what folder you want and then what the file name is and then your choice of file types and for an animation all we get is an AVI so uh, that is very widely used uh, you can go into your options and it goes right back to setting those once you've set that you can hit save and you kicked out that animation to your hard drive so that you can share it put on a website share it give it to others uh, give it to your client etc